Okay, so we're told atmospheric pressure P in pounds per square inch is represented in this formula where X is the number of miles above sea level. So they tell us the pounds per square inch, 8.443, and then we have to solve this equation for X, which means we need a logarithm. X is in the exponent uh, position. So the first thing I would do is I'd divide both sides by 14.7. So it's going to give us their handy dandy calculator. 8.443 divided by 14.7 that gives us 0 0.57 here. I'm going to copy and paste this because I don't want to lose, I don't want to get this one wrong because of decimals. Probably don't need this many decimals for this program to be happy, for Mobius to be happy, but just to be safe. So we, we, uh, that's 14.7 times E. We divide 14.7 first. Next, to get X out of the exponent position, we're going to take a natural log of both sides. And we use natural log because um, a natural log is a logarithm of base E. If you take a natural log of E, it cancels out and leaves you with just negative 0.21x. Okay, so that's the whole reason we did that. I'm just not writing all the decimals because it's hard to write with this thing. Okay, so we got, uh, we're supposed to take a natural log of both sides. We did it to the right side. Now we need to take a natural log of the left side. So all I have to do in the Windows calculator, excuse me, is hit natural log. It gives us negative 0.554 five, one, we'll round there. And now this is uh, almost done. A nice and simple algebraic equation. You gotta divide both sides by 0.21 negative if it equals. So we got 2.64 is x, roughly. I'm gonna keep all the decimals when I make this next calculation. We're not done, okay? Because x is the number of miles. The question is how many feet? Right, so to convert from feet to miles, you just have to multiply by the number of feet in a mile. Sorry, I said that in reverse. To convert from miles to feet, you've got to multiply by the number of feet in a mile. So this is the number of miles we just saw for. We just found x. We're going to multiply that by 5280. And then um, this is a, how many decimals? To the nearest foot. So one three, I'm gonna round up one three nine four two. And then this is where you can show your work. You know, you can explain this however you'd like. You can type it up, use the equation editor, just give an explanation of what you did in order to find uh the number of feet. But let's just submit this just to make sure. I don't think there's any issues with typing this one because it's just a plain old number. But like always, I have to go back and manually grade the questions. Oh, I must have done that earlier. I have to go back and manually, manually grade the questions that have uh, places where you can put your own answer in. Okay. There we go. So 13,942 feet, just like the question asked. And then this is the part where I have to go back and grade.